Sokolov Lion criteria is one of the most popular voltage criteria for detection of left ventricular hypertrophy. In this ECG, we can see chest leads V1 to V6. S wave in V1 is 16 mm and the R wave in V6 is 32 mm. In addition, you can see ST depression in V5 and V6 along with T wave inversion in V4, V5 and V6. These are features of left ventricular hypertrophy. Sokolov and Lyon published the criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy in American Heart Journal in 1949. S wave in V1 plus R wave in V5 or V6 together should constitute more than 3.5 millivolt or 35 millimeters on a standard ECG or R wave in V5 or V6 should be more than 2.6 millivolts or 26 millimeters on standard ECG. This is based on the fact that left ventricular activity is represented by the R wave in the left oriented leads and S wave in the right oriented leads. Left ventricular activation proceeds in a direction away from the right oriented leads and towards the left oriented leads. There are certain limitations for the Sokolov line criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy. They are solely dependent on the voltages on the ECG. Conditions which alter the conduction of electrical forces to the body surface will alter voltages and make the criteria erroneous. Obese individuals have voltages lower in spite of presence of left ventricular hypertrophy. In thin individuals, voltage can be higher even in the absence of left ventricular hypertrophy. And lower voltages in chest leads can also occur in the presence of pulmonary emphysema. So these are the important limitations of the Sokolov Lion voltage criteria for left ventricular hypertrophy. But still, it is easy to check and it is one of the most commonly used criteria.